Good day to everyone. Welcome and thank you for joining us on our last day of family encouragement. We pray you've been blessed as we have been presenting these messages to you. Loving the fruits of the Spirit. Our Bible reading for the week comes from Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23. It reads as follows. For the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. May the Lord bless the reading and let's pray. Our dear me, Father, we thank you for another day where we can be able to spread some encouragement to those that need it, Lord. And we pray that the Holy Spirit be near and dear to us and that will touch each one's heart that is listening to this message, Lord. Bless us and keep us safe, Lord, as we go through the rest of this day. As Marvel pray in Jesus' name, say, Amen. Doing our last reading is my wife, Charlene. We bless everyone. Good day, everyone. Today we're speaking about patience, and the fruit chosen is the fig. Some facts about the fig. It's purple on the outer skin, shaped like a teardrop, but the taste is nothing to cry about. It is glossy and juicy and a delight, mainly found in Egypt, Greece, Turkey and Morocco. It contains B complex and they can be used both for medicine and dessert. The meaning of patience. Unability or willingness to suppress restlessness or annoyance when confronted with delay. It would really be something if each one of us could live our lives within the boundaries of these definitions about patience. Think about it. The relationship between a husband and his wife would be completely transformed instead of complaining and losing their temper or being irritated about things they would be calm. There would be a greater peace in our homes and our children would, would have the joy and blessing of growing up in an environment without anxiety. Wouldn't that be something? Imagine a parent instead of howling and screaming at their children for being late on a Sabbath. They could just allow the sweet spirit of Jesus to give them the patience to respond calmly and with composure. Rather than being agitated or frantic and destroying the main reason for Sabbath. We know it is important to get to church on time, but even being on time could not be more important than exhibiting the spirit of Jesus in our homes. This fruit of love called patience is something we need to really pray for during this week. While some might think developing this kind of patience is impossible based on their current family situations, we hasten to remind you what Jesus has to say about this kind of thinking. With people it is impossible, but not with God, says Jesus, for all things are possible with God. Mark 10 verse 27. The truth is, when we admit that we don't have the capacity or power to respond with patience in difficult family situations, it is when God can perform the impossible on our behalf. We only need to call on Jesus and he will fill us with his spirit and produce the sweet fruit of patience in our lives. Then our family relationships and all other relationships will have the capacity to be transformed by the presence of the spirit of God dwelling in our lives every day. Ellen White's counsel on patience is, if impatient words are spoken to you, never rely on, rely on the same spirit. We are also reminded that the wise counsel of scripture, a gentle answer turns away rough but harsh words stir up anger. Proverbs 15 verse 1. We pray you will allow the spirit of God to help you develop greater patience in your response to the members of your family and others. That regardless of how difficult the circumstances might be, you will choose to walk by the Spirit instead of indulging in the deaths of the flesh. This will ensure that your relationships will be filled with God's love and bring greater blessings to your home and to the church. Thank you. Here are some discussion questions to do as a family. Question number one. When did Jesus demonstrate patience? Question number two. What can we do to be more patient with each other in our homes? 
We hope that you have been encouraged to spend some time together in prayer and studies. And we especially pray that this week has encouraged you as individuals and as families. Thank you for joining us. God bless you and have a good day.